everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! I forgot to show you what happens when you run out of time while you're controlling this clunky, photorealistic dinosaur here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, just have a fun little rampage around here, just, just for the heck of it, until time runs out, just to show you what the poop happens, because, you know, you know, why not? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be groovy as we make grooves in the walls and stuff like that. You can't control the T-Rex for too long, so don't you worry about it too much. We'll be back to normal soon enough by force. But yeah, that really is a photorealistic dinosaur. <laughs> it really throws you off seeing it in the Mario world, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, you know... This has taken uh, quite a long time, surprisingly. Hmm. Hmm. And yes, I will talk to that parrot among other characters later. Okay, there we go. <sighs> it's too big. I gotta hold on to it any longer. <laughs> all right. Oh wait, it's oh it's over here. That's oh yeah. It's oh, hmm. okay. I thought it'd be all the way out the other side. I guess not. Not right now. But <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Let's set sail. I have showed you that little bit of dialogue, now we can head over to the Sand Kingdom. Let's -a go! Woohoo! Oh! Man! We only got a couple moons for it, but it's got a lot of power! Well, I guess they're called power moons, so, you know, it makes sense. Woohoo! Next world we go! But I said that a minute ago, so... <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Boy, if only we had a matching suit to go along with that new hat, huh? Anyway! <laughs> so, uh, this place... As you might have seen by a little preview image dealio, as we're... Well, it's, it's you know, it's, it's a desert. It's, it's, so, I like me as a captain's hat. Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say so. Well, now then, where are we? That monster's name is Bowser Bowser? Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey Odyssey! Seeing us how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills! Travel tip, ground pound, I already taught this. Dang it, you're late to the party. <laughs> yes. And don't worry. There'll be more of these to, to come, what? Oh yeah, that's right, it, it poops you over here. I'm not used to that. <laughs> it automatically poops you to the action guy just to show you that, but I already showed you that earlier. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom, too. As you've no doubt pieced together, it's entirely covered in sand. And, as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. That's... so that's a clothing, clothing optional area. Good. Good to know. Hmm, there are some ruins there. And an artifact that... It's called the uh, Ring Binding Band that li links people forever, like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems like just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for a sham wedding. Yes, indeedly do it does. So about that desert. It's gonna be a pretty hot place, right? Uh Um Uh What's going on over here? This does not seem right. This huge towers of ice. Well, in any case you've gotta go atop the highest tower. Holy jeez! Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey Odyssey a complete success! Why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Well, it can be cold at night time, but, you know, some, this is, it looks like daytime to me, so something seems amiss. Huh? The top of that tower is shiny, but how could that be? Could it be a, a, a power moon? Power moon? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and take the linear route. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I could go around the perimeter and collect and stuff like that. But for now, let's stick to the linear route. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. 
Two purple coins. Yes, the purple coins have a different appearance in each world. The first ones look like donuts. These ones are like upside down pyramids. Those coins are only good in this kingdom. Yeah, that's why they're different in each place. So anyway, let's, let's get the talking to the Tostaranians. I never knew how to pronounce this. It's spelled T-O-S-T-A-R-E-N-A-N-S. Yeah, I'm not too sure about it. Oh, no, 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 guy owes me money! <laughs> oh, man, maybe you could break him out. Ah, oh, doesn't look like it. Ah, poopers. All right, let's talk to the guy with the exclamation point. Just <laughs> froze all of a sudden. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Checkpoint. Well, it's more like a warp point. Go. 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 Forever. Need interior warmth. How about shop? So this is where you can use your coins to buy stuff, both the purple and the golden varieties. Ah, it's much warmer in here. I use this closet to change any time. Barky bark! Barky bark! Barky bark! <laughs> the one on the left is the regular coins, one on the right is the purple coins. Hey, hey, hey! We accept two cards of coins. Yellow coin, well, gold coins and purple coins! You could use coins anywhere, but purple coins only right here! Hey, hey! So yeah, you can buy life of hearts, increase your maximum life value, you can buy a moon, which I think I'll actually do. Um, now, you can buy up to 99 moons at each stop you come across, but, but I'm going to only buy one at each because of the sake of moon counting. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So yes, we got a moon from a shop of all places. <laughs> Awesome tastic. Let's continue to buy more stuff. I could increase my health, but I don't think I'm in that much danger and I'll be able to find those along the way. You could actually buy shop stuff and oh hello! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, it's ten thousand I mean it's one thousand. Oh That's as close I'll be able to get to be a nudist, isn't it? <sighs> Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Well, I guess I can buy the rest. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Sure, I'll... I guess I could put that on now. Sure, why not? I will buy that as well. Sure, sure. Yes, I am excited for that. To get myself some new gear just because... Heck yeah! Why am I wearing this? <laughs> I'm not an employee! Anyway, next next shop. Now this is where you can only spend the purple coins. And there's always just enough stuff worth the amount of the coins in the world. In this case, I believe there's a hundred. So yeah, we only got two. So I can't buy any of this stuff. Alas, alas. But there is a, a moon back there. You wouldn't mind parting with that moon, would you? Nah, I didn't think so. And uh, over here, yeah, as, as I said, you can use this to change anytime. You can see what you got. I got the new hats from, yeah, being a captain and whatnot, but I'm gonna stick with this because it's a matching set. Just because it may not look, may not look very Mario-like, but you know, it's new, it's fresh. So let's get a move on. Yes, there's purple coins up there. I'm gonna probably collect all the uh, purple coins before I stop buy stuff in the shops, unless I have to, probably. <laughs> of course not, it's far too cold. And I got this little passageway here, travel tip crouch. Would you see something interesting out of reach and the ceiling is too low for you to get normally? Press the yellow crouch, you can also walk that way. Dunk, 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 dunk. And go through here. And remember that moon? <laughs> Look at that, there's the moon. <laughs> We're behind the counter. We're true employees. <laughs> you scared the teeth out of me. On a shop, use the front door, please. <laughs> oh, it's the same. Ah, oh, pooper. Same dialogue. Dang it. Dang it. All right, employees only. <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's, let's, they don't want us back here. But we'll we'll take their moon and go. <laughs> All right. So as you can tell, not really. Uh, much we can do about the people's trauma at this moment in time because of all the... Yeah, we haven't found the source of this cold weather going on here. 
But maybe, maybe we can collect some stuff. And we can also travel along the lines, just because. Look at that. Woo -woo. <laughs> yes, you can go back and forth, and then you just press ZL to get out of said position whenever you please. Anyway, <laughs> should stop messing around and go back. Oh, and I was gonna say, go back up to that other guy. Dang it, stop, stop grabbing onto things, Mario. I figured the fastest way would probably be to just use this again, but actually maybe not at this rate. Because <laughs> I can use... Oh, no, no! What's wrong with me? Dang. I'm trigger happy with ZL. You ever get lost? You head for that bright glowy light, okay? Okay, got it. And by the way, these little rocket ships lead you to, like, special dealio areas, and as you can tell, since we haven't set up stuff, you know, we have an unfrozen stuff or whatnot as as the game is implying you're going in that direction. That ain't happening just yet. Oh geez, our kingdom frozen that strange Bowser Peach couple got here. <laughs> Why did they do this? Oh man, I can't even get the coins in the fountain. <laughs> Please help us, too chilly. We don't have the clothes for it. We did not expect this climate at all. But we can go in here and play a slot machine. At least I think we can right now. Let's give it a shot. Hey, some slots. Toss her in a game. That's winning worldwide fame. It's 10 coins of play. What do you say? Power Moon can be won. Try it. It's fun. Let's do it. Yay, slots away. Use your hat to throw and line them up in a row. So what you want to do is look for the symbol that's just before the moon. In this case, it's the heart. And then throw your hat when you see that symbol. And you'll be able to nail that moon. Obviously, you know, the other ones will give you the other corresponding prizes. But we're going for the moon here. Here. We're going for the jackpot. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, kingdom slots, baby. Woo! Uh, mm, no thanks. Out of power moons. I, 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 no. What's the point if you don't have the power moons? Now I guess I could get a life up or get a couple extra coins won or something like that, but honestly it's faster getting stuff all the other ways. Aren't you the one that was talking about the fountain? Our kingdom of no, no, okay, no, okay, you're just walking around all over the place just for the heck of it. <laughs> Maybe you're just trying to keep warm by staying moving. I saw the craziest boss of each couple come racing past the way to the ruins. I figured it's still out that way. Hmm. Hmm, maybe they are. By the way, some of these you can break. The like the little ones you can, but not not the big ones. So if you see a prize, well, <laughs> that that you can break out. If there is something that you can break out, there you go. Go ahead. But otherwise, you might you'll just get something probably like a coin or whatnot. Just like us, probably like us. That's what we say anyway. Put your hat and clothes in your little local color. Look around, you'll get the idea. So we got to use the purple coins to get the full-on garb of the locals, which we don't have enough purple coins to do, so that is a moon for another time. You'll see a moon all the way up there, too. That may also be a moon for another... Okay, it's definitely going to be a moon for another time. But midnight, maybe not for now. Travel tip, long jump. When you want to jump really far, I already taught this already. Super mega handy move. Yeah. And micro Goombas just have a good time. Maybe I should actually kill those guys off to get more coins as I go. <laughs> oh yeah, just just why not? Why not? Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we got ourselves another warp point here, but we haven't yet made it to the top of the tower. And the, ooh, and there are other moons to get along the way. So let's just enjoy the stay and beware for this is quicksand. Oh jeez, oh you are. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not, it's not like the quicksand in Galaxy where it just like instantly kills you if it, if it touches you. you. You can jump out like Mario 64 style jumping out. Well, I mean, I, I, I end up losing... I, I mean, that one lost track of me. <laughs> anyway, I need to... Yeah. Oh, it's too late. I ran out of opportunity time. So this is a bullet bill. You can take over them and you can press the Y button to accelerate. Who needs that platform anyway? <laughs> <laughs> you can also use, well, like, oh, that's right, it's not that, it's these sorts of bumps in the air there. You can also use the powers that be off the ground pound to kind of flatten the area and get prizes and stuff like that. It is delightful like you wouldn't believe. By the way, you cannot change altitude or anything like that. 
So you're specifically kind of kind of stuck <laughs> at a certain certain layer. Oh, and as for that moon, uh, yeah, we're gonna get that moon. <laughs> I was lying. Let's go. And when we get over it, yeah. Now there's a really hard moon that you can get all the way on the other side of this. Uh, I'll just I'll get, I'll get a better view so I can show you. I don't even know if I want to bother attempting to get it right now, but way way out there. See that? See that pillar over there? Well, if you need to get close enough, the box will spawn, or maybe it just hasn't spawned yet now. And you're supposed to use a bullet bill to get all the way over there to get it. It's ridiculous, and I don't see the box right now, so let's let's go ahead and skip that. As for those cracked blocks that I tried crown pounding, you're actually supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to break them with the bullet bill. So anyway, let's go ahead and break them just for the fun of it. Because why not? Wait, did I run out of blocks already? I thought, okay, there, yeah, there was that one more. Yunk! Yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez! You guys are trapped for ages! Poor guys. Poor guys. But wait, there's this last one. It's, it's especially shiny. What could that possibly mean? Well, let's find out. It's a power moon! <laughs> Inside a block is a hard place. <laughs> Just like those poor, poor micro Goombas. Okay, let's go up. <laughs> and... Dunk. Already another warp point sitting out over there pretty nicely. Hmm. Hmm. Anything that we can do about that? Uh, I don't think so right now. I think this is telling us about the ground pound. Hey, hey you. Eh, ground pound, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know. We've got that tutorial a couple times already. <laughs> Plus we kind of tried that at the other place before we even got the tutorial for it. Um, so yeah, we got some sand geysers hanging out here. They're, they're a lot more solid than they look, let me tell you. Observe. <laughs> and you can even bounce up to it from the middle lustily. Beautiful, beautiful. And yes, the coins are even in 8-bit form if you should come across those areas, so... Just because it only, you know, it looks like the coins are different, they're still a part of the same same sort of situation and this is a, another reason why I decided to change clothes because even in 8-bit areas you'll be able to see that Mario indeed has the 8-bit version of the clothes that he's wearing. Nice touch! Nice touch! And... Uh, I just wanted to get all the blocks man. I just wanted to get all the blocks. <laughs> just for the sake of getting all the blocks. Okay you go over my head. I'll just kind of kind of go over on, go on my merry way. And there's also, check this out, now this is, a, this is like a teasing moon, watch this. You break it apart and it goes on the other side for whatever, why do you do that? Just stay where you are, I made it to you. You don't, you don't have to go to the other side. <laughs> so this over here too, you put your hat on it and you can view the world! Look at that, I don't know if you can get the thing that's in the sky right now though, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's in the air at the moment, because it's not unlocked yet. But there is a thing that you can use, I mean, you, well, you use this to, well, that's where we're going anyway, but you use this to look at a certain ship, and that'll make a moon appear. That's, that's a later thing, though. Anyway, I need, I need the power of you to get over to the other side, if you don't mind. Thank you! Woo! Heck yeah! From a crate in the ruins! Alright, this is pretty well cleared out, so I guess we can go ahead and... And uh, I don't think they're gonna fire at the same area. Okay, it's gonna fire. I was gonna say, maybe I'll have to do some advanced trickery to get over there a little bit quicker. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip these platforms. Why not? It's a little bit faster. And there we go. I mean, you, you can do things multiple ways in this game. Oh, look at that 8-bit thing coming up. It's, it certainly looks like we're gonna be using that to climb the tower, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, we are in... Oh, I just ran my face right into the cactus. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's okay, there's a heart over here. But anyway, anyway, yeah, you can actually do that with the cacti, yeah. Anyway, let's go up. There's another moon to be looked out for in this particular area in a secret place, so... Be careful not to miss that. And I will be keeping my peepers out because I don't quite remember where it was. <laughs> Just remember that there was around here. I know that there's those coins down there. Now, I'm probably going to say I don't remember a lot of things in this game as I go because there's literally hundreds upon hundreds of things to collect. 
which is kind of nutters. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just 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 being kind of realistic here that I I have not played the game 850 times to have memorized each and every outlook uh, each and everything, but well, oh I remember now. Boop, and you go in here. <laughs> yeah, seek of the mural. And I wonder if I can just jump out of here without using the platform. Yes, I can. It's a tight jump, but we can do it. Round tower. War point, but more importantly, we've made it to the moon! Woo! Not too difficult to get up here, and we collected a whole bunch of poop along the way, too. <laughs> Just look at all the moons we've gotten already! <laughs> this part is only lot, well, like 20 minutes or so. Alright, Moon Shards in the Sand is up next, but I'll be starting that segment in the next part. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a tease. Oh, I don't know where I'm getting at here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. That was really awkward of me, I've got to say.